Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to some more FNAF news. We're back once again with some more news on the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative, and this is pretty big because we just got a major reveal of some pretty early gameplay of one of the upcoming games in the fanverse and it looks incredible so without further ado let's not waste any more time with this intro if you are excited for pop goes evergreen hit the like button subscribe so you stay up to date with all the news in fnaf and the fanverse let's kick it off so what exactly is pop goes evergreen what is the fanverse if you even don't even know about that well basically the fazbear fanverse is a initiative to make some fan games in the FNAF community, basically official FNAF products. And one of the game series in the initiative is the PopGo series by Kane Carter. And speaking of Kane and his team, they just released a official FNAF spin-off, PopGo's Arcade. It's on Steam right now if you want to go pick it up, show some support. There'll be a link down in the description below. But they're also working on PopGo's Evergreen, which is a official reboot of the PopGo's game all the way back from 2016. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Because Kane just released a brand new look at the office gameplay in PopGo's Evergreen. It looks absolutely spectacular. I did watch this video live when it premiered, but of course I'm going to show it off with you guys. Here we go. So this we actually saw at the end of Popgo's Arcade and the Machinist when he got 200%. And don't worry, we're going to go back, we're going to pause, take a look at things. But let's just play it in full right now. So this is the front view. You got your phone on the side, the panic meter down at the bottom. Your giant screen in front of you. You can even change the color of the phone. Look at that. Yellow, blue, purple, oh, a whole bunch of colors. Also the music, we're going to touch upon that in a bit. This is to your right, you can see stone outside the window. This is the a look at the show stage and some of the dining room. You can see Pop goes on the stage. And that is the full dining room. The door down there you can see is the server room. We're back to the front view, showing off the panic meter, how that works now. You can see there's now two panic meters, so we're going to talk about that. It just looks absolutely insane. The music goes so hard as well. Back looking at stone. You can see some of the panic meter going down. But not the percent. And that's going to do it. Pop Goes Evergreen, still early in development. Play the prologue out now on Steam, Pop Goes Arcade. So let's go through it bit by bit. I will also show off a comparison, showing some footage uh, from Pop Goes 2016, comparing it to the footage we have now of Pop Goes Evergreen. I'll take my face cam off just so you can see a full view of the screen. But this, like I said earlier, is the front view. This is your new office. This is your new, you know, station that you work at. You have your giant monitor in front of you, which will display the cameras you select on your Weaselware phone. You can see this still belongs to Fritz Glade. As you can see, you got cams 1 through 10. You still have the reset room button. If I remember correctly, I think cam 1 does have a vent, but there's no vent button. That may be because the camera is simply not displayed. Or maybe there's a different way to look in the vent cameras, but we do get a look at the system pretty uh, later on in the video. Yeah, so here it is. So it looks like there's some, there's some different button you press. Actually, wait, hold on. It looks like this gets flipped. Yeah, look at that. So you click this button, or maybe there's some default button you click, and it'll switch between the basic cameras and also the vent cameras, which you can see only cams uh, 6, 3, 1, 2, 5, and 7 have vent cameras, and you can see it still goes all the way around, and you can also heat the vent. There it is in action. And all the rooms seem to be color-coordinated. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, so here we get a look at a different color for the phone. So it looks like we will have the option to select different colors and customize our phones. So this looks like it's the default green. Then you can switch over to a yellow. Very nice. A blue. Purple. Red. Uh, orange. Red. Oh yeah, just a whole bunch of colors. And this is this is insane i love this shot of stone so this is a look off to your right hand side at the brand new uh car park outside the window with stone the crow you can also see a pop goes pizzeria some artwork uh sign on the window looks like this says parties arcades uh something something arts crafts maybe photo room area i i don't know i'll flip it for you guys so you can read it but <laughs> i can't read it when it's backwards but this is stone 
God, he looks so, so, so good. I cannot believe that. So this is the window you're gonna look out, uh, presumably to lower your panic. This is a look at the show stage with Popgo's, only Popgo's on the stage. You can see some tables, a bunch of balloons, just a bunch of decorations. Looks like you got a poster with Popgo's and uh, looks like Toy Bonnie. What does that say? I can't, I can't really make out what that says though. If you guys know, leave a comment down below. What, what does this poster say? I can't really zoom in myself. Also take notice, the lights flicker. Very, very interesting. Good attention to detail, I like that. Uh, there's another poster out this way, a room, which if I remember correctly is the office of the man on the phone, whose name I'm totally not blanking on right now. It's not Fritz, right? Am I stupid? No, it is Fritz. <laughs> yeah, this right here looks to be the entrance to the server room. It also looks like someone may have spilt <laughs> a drink or something. Caution, wet floor. And you can see all the other stations that people can sit at and, you know, play games on their phones, on the monitors, whatever. Yeah, use your Weaselware phone to play awesome games here. It's awesome games, guys. What kid wouldn't want to wouldn't want to go to Popco's Pizzeria? You can just barely make out. I think this is usually the door that Popco's will go out of. Yeah, this is a look to your left. It looks so good. Again, the detail is just absolutely insane. Let's go back. Look at the detail on this. The amount of things in this office and how well everything looks with the lighting, the textures, it looks absolutely insane. Absolutely phenomenal. Anyways, back to the front view to show off the panic bar. As you can see, this bar goes up, but it's only until this bottom bar fills up that your percent goes up and you get a flashing like caution sign. And you can also see it with all the different colors, purple, blue, yellow, whatever. Look at that. Yeah, so it looks like this is your warning panic, like, hey, you're about to panic if this first bar fills up enough, and then once the bottom one fills up, that's when your percent goes up. And looking out the window, you can see lowers that, but it doesn't lower the bottom one. That's super interesting. Back to the front view, and that's gonna do it. Pop goes evergreen, still early in development. Like I said, I mean, <laughs> this whole thing just looks absolutely insane. It really, really does. I mean, this whole area... Look at Pop Goes in the Dark. Man, that's terrifying. He's so creepy up there on stage alone. This, this view... It just... <laughs> I can't get over it. I really cannot. It looks so, so, so good. Especially comparing it to, um, Pop Goes from 2016. I'll flash up some comparisons while I talk. I recently played through that game, uh, I want to say a couple weeks ago at this point. It's a good game. Um, and it got me super excited for Evergreen. And now seeing this, after playing that original game from 2016, seeing how much, you know, progress, you know, the team has made, I cannot get over it. It, it blows me away. What Kane and the team have been able to do with this office. It looks, I mean, it looks insane. Like, look at this car park. Look at, like, the reflections of the, of the cone. <laughs> that sounds like a dumb thing to say. Guys, look at the reflection of the cone on the floor. Oh my god, that looks insane. But it does, right? The lights outside, on the street lights, all the lighting inside the office, inside the building, the lights flickering, the small attention to detail. It just, it looks so good. I cannot wait to see more. Kane did say in the premiere chat for the office that he's going to show off more things in the next coming weeks. So probably soon we can see more uh, evergreen content or just overall pop goes content but i think the the most important thing to take away from all of this is the fact that this ending bit at the end it's still early in development the office looks insane obviously kane and the team are doing a stellar job and they just got done working on pop goes arcade a whole bunch but it's still super early in development you know we didn't see any rooms i'm not saying we have to see any rooms you know obviously i want kane and the and the team to take their time on this especially if it looks all good, like this. We've seen some, you know, teasers of some rooms in the past, and those look incredible. This whole game looks absolutely phenomenal. So the last thing I want to do, and the last thing I want you guys to do, is rush Kane and the team. Because obviously, they are super, super talented, and they can do incredible stuff like this. So we have to give them 
the time, and the patience that they need to make this game as good as it possibly can be. I forgot to mention this, so I'm just gonna read it off uh, in post right now as I'm editing, but the description of the Office premiere has some pretty good information that I want to read off. First up, unfortunately, a leak of Popco's Evergreen Station, or Office, what do we even call it? Panorama was released on YouTube a few days ago, so we've decided to show off the most recent version properly. This is still somewhat of a work in progress, and I would consider Consider it a prototype. Though the models here are final, the gameplay will include more effects, the phone itself will flicker in the dark as seen in the 200% ending for Pop Goes Arcade, and Panic will have some visual symptoms as well. And of course, the monitor will actually be turned on lol. The music in the background is a real preview of the dynamic night ambience composed by Radiarch. It changes based on your perma panic. So that is that uh, bottom panic bar that we talked about. As it says at the end of the video, Pop Goes Evergreen is indeed still early in development. If I said otherwise, I would be lying. There is still a lot to do. That being said, Pop Goes Arcade, a massive prologue RPG game, did just release on Steam. Also, check out Pop Goes Arcade on Steam, official FNAF spinoff game. Hell yeah. Well, that's gonna do it for this quick uh, little FNAF news video update on the Fazbear fanverse and also uh, Pop Goes evergreen looks insane i can't say it enough i'm gonna keep saying it it looks insane like i said links to pop goes arcade to go play it on steam in the description links to go follow pop goes evergreen on game Joe. links to you know follow uh kane and the crew also linked down below please go show support they are doing incredible incredible works right now and you know who else is incredible you for watching this video all the way through hey thanks so much and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye